Welcome back to the channel, guys, the Psychotic Circus of Savannah. And this is my 2022 animatronic collection. So starting off my collection video is one of my most sought after clowns. I've been looking for him pretty much since I started collecting props and it's Heads Up Harry. Heads Up Harry was sold I think from like 2011 to 2013 and there was a bunch of different variations. Small ones, tall ones, Frankenstein ones, and one of them was a clown. This particular guy was customized so his eyes light up. I did not buy him brand new, I bought him second hand from a subscriber in San Diego, California. is clowning around, also known as Uncle Boo Boo. He was extremely sought after and I found out that he only had around 250 that were released by Seasonal Visions in 2020. This was a Spirit Halloween exclusive and I really like this guy because he's torturing two kids. I love that he's swinging them around. I know a couple other props have kids attached to them as well but this guy for some reason, I love his accent, I love his look, he's one of my favorites. This is Henry Hustle. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive animatronic made by Crazy Create. He was sold in store in 2021 and online in 2022, I think. I did buy him at retail cost, which was $229. Step right up and pick a card. Hmm, it seems you've picked... The Card of Death! <laughs> this is Twisty from American Horror Story. He was an online exclusive for Spirit Halloween from 2019 until 2021. But this guy is not an animatronic. He's a static prop but still one of my favorite. This is Monty. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive. He's made by Seasonal Visions. We got him for $299 at Spirit Halloween's flagship grand opening. I know you may be thinking, but Savannah, he's not a clown. And you're right, but he fits perfect in any psychotic circus. This is Startling Arms Clown, also known as Giggles the Clown. He was created by Techie Toys and released at Party City and Halloween City. I have had four different animatronics of this guy and every single one of them broke almost immediately. I have heard that Techie Toys is bringing it back out for 2023 with much needed improvements. Welcome to the fun house. You're next in line. This is Honky the Clown from Seasonal Visions. He was online only at Spirit Halloween from 2011 to 2015. However, he wasn't a Spirit Halloween exclusive. His retail cost was $199. I have been searching for him ever since I started my animatronic collection. Now this guy was in pretty rough shape when I first got him. His whole head was pretty much flat like a pancake. 
So after following some tutorials I found online, I actually used a hair dryer to soften up his latex and kind of puff his head out a little more. He does have some damage on his face, specifically under his chin that I plan on restoring, but until then I still think he is a great addition to the psychotic circus of Savannah. <laughs> This is the Tug of War Clowns made by Seasonal Visions. They were released in 2019 and they were sold online by Spirit Halloween, however they are not a Spirit Halloween exclusive. This is Skeevy and this is Chatters, or I like to think this guy is Chatters and that guy's Skeevy, mostly because of how his mouth looks and this guy just looks like a skeevy character. There's also a red variant. I chose the green one because I felt like a lot of my animatronics have red hair or red clothes. I was really excited to get these guys when they were released. However, their retail was $499. This is the 2018 Morbid Enterprise Pennywise the Clown. He's by far one of my least favorite animatronics. His voice doesn't match the Pennywise actor from the films because I believe they were creating him at the same time they were filming the movie. His quality isn't the best. I really hate his costume. It's just very cheap. However, he has a movement where he's kind of reaching towards you, and I noticed that kids really like this guy. I did pay full price for him, if I remember correctly. It's been many years, and Grandpa hasn't taken his medicine. But uh, I think I might have gotten him from a party city or Halloween city or something like that. Georgie animatronic from the It Chapter 2 franchise. It was sold by Party City and Halloween City for about 159 bucks, and it's made by Techie Toys. In my opinion, his quality is much higher than the Pennywise we just saw. I really love how his face is all decayed, however I do wish that they put a bit more detail into his ripped off arm. You can kind of tell that his blood was put on by a paintbrush. <laughs> This is Punchy, another 2022 Spirit Halloween exclusive. We also got this guy from Spirit Halloween's flagship grand opening. He's made by Party Time, and his retail cost was like 279 bucks or something like that. He is by far my biggest disappointment in 2022 when it comes to Halloween props. When I first saw him displayed, I thought his concept was really great, but he's a pain to put together. His quality isn't the best. He only has half of a head, and this is actually the second one that I had because the first one I had straight out of the box was broken. However, I do want to give credit to Party Time for coming up with a completely original concept. Come closer. I have something to tell you. It's so funny. I promise you'll die laughing. <laughs> This is Sitting Scare Clown, made by Techie Toys. He was released exclusively by Spirit Halloween in 2017 and returned in 2018. He was for sale in 2019 as well as an online only product. His original price was $149.99, but in 2018 and 2019, he jumped up 10 bucks to $159.99.
This is Harriet Hustle, made by Crazy Create exclusively for Spirit Halloween. She was released in 2021 and her price was $179.99. Her backstory is very interesting. She's the daughter of Henry Hustle and her mom ran away with Rotten Ringmaster, according to Henry Hustle's backstory. <laughs> This is Art the Clown from the Terrifier series. You may say, hey, where did you get this prop? And I actually made this animatronic. What I did was I foam filled a head that was made by Trick or Treat Studios. This is an officially licensed costume. I hand made his hands and also got him a realistic scalpel. I put him on the same exact frame as the Pennywise we saw earlier, so you may notice a very similar motion as he creeps forward towards you. But instead of holding an innocent balloon, he's holding a scalpel, ready to terrify you. This is Hugs the Clown. One may argue that he is my very first animatronic. I got him and Creepy Towering Clown on the same exact day in 2018. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive made by Seasonal Visions, and he's a fan favorite. Hey there, friend. Welcome to the Fun House. Come a little closer. We've got fun and This is the old time clown, also known as Vintage Clown, also known as Mr. Moldy. He was released in 2020 under a different color wave and he had a lollipop. And in 2021, this version came out with this wonderful cotton candy. I knew I had to have it once I saw this cotton candy because it looks amazing. It's made by Seasonal Visions and it was sold at Home Depot. Hello, little buddy. Would you like to play a game? I love games, don't you? Say, hide your eyes and count to ten, and I'll conk you on the head. <laughs> Too funny. Mr. Moldy just cracks himself up. Hey, where you going? This is Silent and Deadly. He was released in 2013 by Spirit Halloween. And I think he was online only a couple years after that. I'm not sure who his manufacturer is, so if you know, please put it down in the comments below because I'm really interested. Now, this guy was sought after for quite some time, but before I got him, I had no idea that he had such a small frame. His quality isn't the best, other than his face. His face is absolutely amazing. I know that a lot of people really like this guy, but I think it's probably more of a nostalgia thing seeing how in 2013, that's when a lot of people started really collecting Spirit Halloween animatronics. <laughs> this is Two Scoops, and little bragging part right here, we were the first ones to have Two Scoops. We got him at the very beginning of November of 2021. I know he's still on sale online through Spirit Halloween's website, but I know his price has gone up 20 bucks. He was at 219 and now he's at 239. When I say he, I mean them because they both have names. One's name is Jim and one's Tim. I don't know which one's which. Maybe you guys know. What's wrong, little girl? Don't you like ice cream? Everybody likes ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 2013 Wacky Mole. He was re-released in 2021. However, this is the original kind of. I've had to kind of piece him together. And at this point, I kind of wish I had the 2021 version because he is becoming a bit fragile. He was made by Seasonal Visions. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive and by far a fan favorite. Halloween costumes made me crazy! <laughs> it's me, 
This is Cackles the Clown, made by Seasonal Visions International. He was released at Party City for a whopping $499. And although he is the largest animatronic I own, believe it or not, he's not the most expensive. The Psychotic Circus of Savannah was lucky enough to be the first ones on YouTube to showcase Cackles the Clown. He stands 12 feet tall, and he for sure takes the spotlight of any yard display. This is Zombie Clown from Seasonal Visions. He was released in 2012. He's not a Spirit Halloween exclusive though. However, I was told by the person I got this from that they did get this one from Spirit Halloween. He does normally have a stick here to hold a balloon. And before I realized that you can buy those at Party City for like 10 for a dollar, I actually went ahead and put a pumpkin in his hand. My plan is to restore him to original by including his balloon stick. But for now, I think the pumpkin pail does a great job. This is Violent J, one half of the Insane Clown Posse. I actually created this animatronic as an homage to the original Wicked Clowns. I made sure to drape him in authentic Insane Clown Posse merchandise, as well as his gold chain, and give him a bottle of his favorite soda, Faygo. Hello everybody, my name is Violent J. Well, let's just say this, I'm under treatment. I think he cared for it. Shaggy rubs salve into my shoulders late night. Maybe I shouldn't have said that, but um, I am under close treatment, therapeutic, mental training. I had a small dosage of telephalestrian, a very small dosage because when I reach the point of completely insane. <laughs> this is Shaggy Too Dope, the other half of the Insane Clown Posse duo. This was also an animatronic that I made in homage to the Insane Clown Posse. And Shaggy Tudo also has an amazing Jekyll Brothers jersey, a gigantic Psychopathic Records chain, and a hatchet and a chicken in dedication to their biggest song. This little guy is Shorty from the Killer Clowns from Outer Space. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive released in 2021, and he's made by Party Time. Very quickly, he became a fan favorite. We always make sure we have a special place for him in our home haunt. The neat thing about Shorty is he comes with both his regular hands and boxing gloves. Last year we had him in boxing gloves, this year we're using his hands. This is Thrashing Clown, made by Techie Toys exclusively for Spirit Halloween. He was released in 2013 as part of the Clown Train collection. In 2014, he returned as an online only product and his retail price was $149.99. He's a reskin of Death Row and Strapped Serial Killer. However, he was the only one to come with a TNT trigger box. I unfortunately do not have his TNT box as I bought this second hand, but if you have one, please email me at savannahpsychocircus at gmail.com. I'd love to take it off your hands and return this guy to his former glory.
This is Uncle Charlie, the 2010 version. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive made by Seasonal Visions. He was actually crafted after a mask and costume that Spirit Halloween had released in 2009, except the mask had multicolored hair. They re-released this prop in 2020, but he looked completely different. One thing I will say about this guy is I don't have his audio, as his audio is a different power pack than what plugs in to make his motion work. It's like a battery operated pack and I never got it because I bought it second hand. I also never had a bucket. He usually comes with a bucket that says free candy, but I decided to go ahead and give him a knife just based off of the way that his hand is shaped. If you happen to have an Uncle Charlie bucket, please hit me up at savannahpsychocircus at gmail.com. I would love to make him complete. This is Bloody Sweet from Distortions Unlimited. At this moment in time, he is our only Distortions prop. He came out around 2016, if my memory serves me correct, and I know his current value is around $848, even though he is sold out on the Distortions Unlimited website. He is by far our most detailed prop, and also our most bloody prop. The strange thing about this guy is when you purchase him, his audio track actually gets emailed over to you. He has no speaker system within him. So we just get a small Bluetooth speaker, put it behind him, and play his terrifying audio track. This is Cotton Candace by Seasonal Visions. She was released by Morris Costumes in 2021, and again, not a clown, but fits perfect in the psychotic circus. This is Waving Wally, another prop from Seasonal Visions. He was a Spirit Halloween exclusive and was released in 2019. His original price was $229, but because he only had arm movement and no mouth movement, he was extremely unpopular. He was later moved down to $199 and then $179. He's actually extremely sought after nowadays, and in my opinion, he's one of the creepiest clowns. There's no blood, there's no guts, there's no scary movement going on with him, and his phrases can be seen as extremely innocent, unless your thought process is that of a scary clown. This is Cleaver Clown, made in 2016 by Morbid Enterprises. He is by far not the highest quality prop that we own. I would say he's maybe in the running for the lowest quality prop. I got him for about 50 bucks on eBay. He's supposed to move side to side, but his motor is given out. And the seller said that nothing worked. After I did a little bit of research on him, I was able to get his lighting to work and his sound to work again. But we still don't have a new motor for him. Fingers crossed it shows up before Halloween. Underworld Clown made by Seasonal Visions. 
He was released in 2020, and even though he's not a Spirit Halloween exclusive, he was actually found in select Spirit Halloween stores if for some reason they ran really low on animatronics. He's by far the widest animatronic that we have, and he looks very similar to Cuddles the Clown. Their face is identical except for a little bit of makeup changes, and I believe the nose color is different, and they also have completely different bodies. He is a pain in the butt to put together, but he looks amazing once he's complete. The nightmare is cool up here above the ground, but I prefer the fiery warmth down below. I'll drag your cold soul down the floor and to and show you the warmth of my fiery beats. <laughs> This is Nozzles the Clown by Seasonal Visions. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive that came out this year, 2022. His original retail price was $349. We got him from the grand opening of Spirit Halloween's flagship store this year. And the cool thing about this guy is you can hook him up to a fog machine and he'll spray out green toxic fog. Another neat fact about this guy is that you can actually find a mask of his face at your local Spirit Halloween. Just look for a mask called Toxic Clown. Careful where you're going! I'm trying to sanitize this place first! When I'm done, <laughs> nothing's gonna be left living! <laughs> oh, make your eyes water, don't it? This is Mr. Dark. He was released in 2021 and 2022 by Spirit Halloween. He's made by Techie Toys, and originally his price was $249. And in 2022, they actually increased his price to $279. He is the tallest jump scare prop that's been released so far commercially. And at first, I wasn't going to get him because he wasn't a clown, but as you can see, a little bit of paint, and a couple things that you have lying around the house, you can turn anything into a clown. The only thing is the sound module doesn't say anything about a circus. However, with all the noise and the screams happening at the psychotic circus of Savannah, nobody can really hear what he's saying anymore. This gigantic beast is the giant standing jester made by Forum Novelties. He was released in 2009 and his retail price was $300. He was an online only product for Spirit Halloween. However, he was not a Spirit Halloween exclusive. He did have a variant version named Dark Side Jester, which was a Spirit Halloween exclusive, but this guy was known to be set up in Halloween City stores and Party City stores. Now this is not an animatronic, this is a static prop, and it usually comes with a very strange stand that is supposed to hold him up. I originally was going to look to customize him into being a standing prop, but I believe I'd rather sell him to one of my subscribers. Let's find out if he makes the collection video for 2023. This guy you probably already know and love. He has been by far the most popular clown for anybody who has visited our haunted house. This is Crouchy. He was released in 2019 by Party Time, and he's a Spirit Halloween exclusive. This year, Spirit Halloween actually released a Crouchy costume. So I'm hoping to see some trick-or-treaters dressed up like Crouchy this year. <laughs> <laughs> the 
This is Big Top Clown by Seasonal Visions. I got him in 2018. I bought him from Walmart for 99 bucks. I know in 2019 he was sold at Menards, but we don't have Menards down here in Texas. So I wasn't able to see him again until 2020 when he was sold at Home Depot. There were two differences between the Home Depot version and the Walmart version. One of them was the Walmart version did not include shoes. The second one was the price tag. He was 199 bucks at Home Depot. You still like the circus, don't you? You better like clowns, otherwise I might, I might just go crazy! This is Terry the Clown. Seasonal Visions released him this year to be sold exclusively through Home Depot. Surprisingly, for being such a tall clown, he was only $199. Neat thing about this guy is a lot of people prefer his original name, which was Furious. I prefer Teary. Roses are red, violets are blue. You better hide or I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> this is the merry-go-round clowns. What I like to do with our haunt is have all these clowns acting as if they're capturing trick-or-treaters and turning them into these dead children that are now property of the circus, the Savannah Psycho Circus. So I have a couple of these little baby-looking clowns that are doing stuff that little babies would be doing. So it's cool. You get some animatronics with live kids, some animatronics with dead clownish kids, and some animatronics with no kids that might be going after you. These guys right here, they kind of just go in a circle. It no longer makes sound, and that's a shame. It used to have like this kid laughing sound and some music playing, which some other kid animatronics we have do the same. But this in particular, I one time messed up and plugged in the wrong plug. It freaked out. The kids started spinning around all crazy, pretty violently. I'm, I'm talking about like maybe 10 or 15 times faster than it's doing now. They were all swinging in the air and it was kind of funny. But uh, it sucked because it completely killed the sound. There was no more sound ever to be used after that. Um, but it luckily still moves. This thing does seem a little wonky at times, and it, was, it wasn't cheap, so that kind of pisses me off. I don't like how thin the pole is in the middle. I usually get a pool noodle and I'll spray paint it black and put it in the middle of it so it looks a little more hardy and realistic as opposed to just this thin piece of metal. Um, it's not my favorite animatronic, but I feel like it does tell the story of our haunt. The kids' faces don't light up, although similar kids' faces from other animatronics do, and they kind of just sit there. Uh, the only motor is just moving it in a circle, and I think that the price was probably, I believe, $2.99. I didn't get it for $2.99, but for them to be charging $300 bucks for this, I just don't feel it's a good purchase. This is Bloody Bag of Jokes, also known as Joe the Jokester. And he's made by YJ Toys and is a Spirit Halloween exclusive. Now he was originally released in 2013 for $169. Now he was only released in stores in 2013 and then in 2021 and 2022 as an online only product. And despite eight years passing between the two, it only increased by 10 bucks. <laughs> was released in 2020 by Seasonal Visions, exclusively sold at Spirit Halloween. His price was 219 bucks, and he was one of the first props that I saw that was commercially released with LED screens for his eyes. Where'd everyone go? I can't see, I can't see, because I had my eyes closed. You can't hide! This is Bicycling Clown from National Tree Company. We got him at Home Depot this year for 50 bucks. That included shipping. If you look online now, this prop is anywhere from like $400 to $1,000, which I really don't understand. He is definitely worth more than $50, but not worth $400. His costume is a little lackluster, however, I do love the originality of him on a unicycle, or technically a tricycle, 
and I really love that he has a high quality foam filled head, even if the rest of his quality is a little meh. So this guy's name is the Animated Jumping Clown. I've also seen him named as the Jumping Scare Clown. It surprised me when I first found out that he was released by Seasonal Visions. I know that Morris Costumes still sells this clown to this day, where you can currently find him for around $120. He was my first tabletop prop, and technically my first jump scare prop. guy is hanging healthy, or as I like to call him, hanging humor. He was a Spirit Halloween exclusive released in 2017 and made by Crazy Create. His price was $149.99. His original look really didn't match his sayings, as his sayings are a little more comical, and his voice sounds nothing like what I imagine a hell fiend would sound like. Luckily, he was customized just for the psychotic circus of Savannah, where he fits in perfectly. That's right. Come closer. I want to see you and smell you before I taste you. <laughs> this is Mr. Salty from Seasonal Visions. He was released in 2020 as an online exclusive from Spirit Halloween. However, he was in select stores if particular stores had a shortage of animatronics. And he was $349.99. Now the funny thing about this guy is he was actually known about before his release date because his instruction manual was for some reason uploaded to the 2020 Uncle Charlie listing. Now when Mr. Salty is standing here by himself, he looks to be about six foot tall. However, he has a little buddy named Willie. customized Ellie Hatchet made specifically for the Psychotic Circus of Savannah. I always loved Ellie Hatchet and how violent she swings down her hatchet or mallet. It's funny because she's actually the first prop to ever have a safety warning released by Spirit Halloween. I guess her hatchet comes down so fast that they were saying it could injure feet and I know it did some damage on some ISEs. She was released in 2020 as a Spirit Halloween exclusive from Techie Toys. Her price was $159.99, and at that time I really couldn't justify paying that price when I couldn't visualize exactly how to make her fit within our circus. However, Sky the Killer was able to do it for us, and I'm so happy that he did. What are you looking at? This is Twitching Clown from Seasonal Visions. I feel like I've been saying Seasonal Visions a lot. They should probably sponsor us. Anyway, Twitching Clown. He came out in 2015, and from 2015 until 2018, he was a Spirit Halloween online only product, although he is not a Spirit Halloween exclusive. He actually came back in 2020 in select stores due to their shortage of animatronics. He's personally one of my favorites. I just love his motion, and I always put him next to Big Top Clown because they have very similar costumes. <laughs> this is Lucky Bottoms, made by Wo Yu, Wu Yu, Something like that. A company I've never heard of before. You may have. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive, and he was on sale this year for $149.99. I wasn't originally expecting to like this guy, but he became one of our favorites very, very fast. <laughs>
Next is Tyler Hunt, uh, Johnny Punk, Johnny Punk, yes. This is also a prop that came out in 2020 at Spirit Halloween. His price tag was $159.99. He is made by the Woo Yu Metal Plastic Product Factory, say that five times fast, and he is known for being one of the worst animatronics that Spirit Halloween has ever sold. I got him right before Halloween of 2020 for a huge discount at a local Spirit and originally just got him because the deal was too good to be true and I really imagined that it would be very meme-ish to own him. But surprisingly, a lot of people really enjoyed him in our haunt last year. I've been waiting for you to come out and play. What took you so long? <laughs> Who you calling a clown? You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> this is Smokey the Clown from Seasonal Visions. I don't remember what his price was. I did buy him brand new a few years back, and I'm not really sure why I didn't include him in my animatronic video of 2020. I will say that his face sculpt is really, really good, but his build quality is garbage. He falls apart constantly. I've tried everything I can to keep his body sturdy and it's next to impossible. This is Swinging Chuckles, also known as The Swinging Clown. He was released in 2018 and sold online only at Spirit Halloween. However, he was not a Spirit Halloween exclusive. He was produced by Seasonal Visions and distributed by Morris Costumes. His original price was $149.99. In my opinion, that's a little high for such a small prop. However, this guy has lasted years. He has been in the rain. He has been through windstorms. Nothing has ever stopped working on this guy. And hopefully I didn't jinx myself. <laughs> Hello there. I just love this music, don't you? It just puts me in a great mood. <laughs> Makes me want to uh, break something. <laughs> this is Towering Sweet Dreams Clown, made by Seasonal Visions. He's a Spirit Halloween exclusive, originally released in 2018. And for 2018 and 2019, he was an online exclusive. In 2020, he was in select stores. I feel like a lot of their online only props were in select stores in 2020 due to the situation that was happening in 2020 that we're not allowed to talk about on YouTube. Cool. He's kind of the second towering clown with the original creepy towering clown kind of setting off this big whole rollout of a bunch of large clowns uh, with similar hands and similar facial structures. I originally fell in love with this guy because of the swinging baby. And you'll notice that we have so much more that have to do with kids in cages or being swung around. However, this swinging baby no longer swings. It took a pretty hard crash in 2021, but we still love him very much. <laughs> of souls to you and that's because he originally was made by techie toys and released in 2020 at spirit halloween he is a spirit halloween exclusive his price point was 299 dollars but i got him from a subscriber for free thank you very much chris and sophia i wanted to convert this guy into a clown since i saw him in 2020 and luckily we were able to do it just this year However, he still has a couple little bugs we gotta get out of him. Part of his hand is a little wonky right now, so we will get him in tip-top shape. Look at me, just as all the others have. Now that I have you, your soul will be mine forever! This is Toothy the Clown, also known as Mr. Toothy. 
He was originally supposed to be released in 2019, but didn't actually see a release until late 2022. We were lucky enough to be the first owners of this particular prop. Now he is a Spirit Halloween exclusive, produced by YJ Toys, and his price is $249.99. Hey, do I look snazzy or what? I must be the only guy you know that shaves with a chainsaw. <laughs> These are the Seesaw Clowns. We have a couple clowns that are a little bit smaller in size and we kind of have a playground area for those clowns. Now these guys are made by Seasonal Visions. They came out in 2018. Their original price was $189 and we got them from Morris Costumes. <laughs> This is Rocking Elephant Clown, another one in our little mini circus playground. Also made by Seasonal Visions, this guy was released in 2020 and we got him directly from Morris Costumes. I know that he was for sale on Spirit Halloween's website for $179, but I did get him directly from Morris. <laughs> This is Creepy Towering Clown, released by Seasonal Visions and sold at Spirit Halloween from 2017 until I think around 2019 or 2020. This guy is also in the running for being my first animatronic as I got him and Hugs the very same day. So not only is he responsible for the psychotic circus of Savannah, but he is also responsible for this creepy towering trend of animatronics that have happened. All of the KGs, the Rotten Ringmasters, the creepy towering clowns. If you've seen a clown that's been over seven feet tall, you can blame this guy. I'm looking for someone to play hide and seek with. You go hide and I'll come find you. <laughs> This is Ice Scream Clown, that's Ice Scream Clown, made by Techie Toys. He was released by Party City and Halloween City in 2022. He retailed at $130, and the cool thing about him is he actually originally stood like seven and a half feet tall, but his body was just a stake that you would stick in the ground. We went ahead and modified him to give him a full body with two legs, shoes, and pants. And although he's not necessarily an animatronic, he is part of our animatronic collection. Mm. I just love the taste of frozen flesh, don't you? <laughs> so this is the animated clown, released from Home Depot in 2018 or 2019, I believe. And he was around $135 to $140. Now he is made by PAC, P-A-C. Some say it stands for Pan-Asian Creations. I say it stands for Pretty Awful Clowns. His quality is not the best. Mine broke almost immediately and I had to go ahead and rig him up with extra pieces that I had from a Sunstar prop. Now I am looking to bring him back to life. I'm looking to get his original module in hopes of resurrecting him to his eh, glory because right now he's just straight garbage he's somebody that i put in the very back of my haunt just to fill in a blank spot this is the psycho attack clown puppet from VFX Creates. His price tag is $1,450. And yes, this very high detailed prop is actually a puppet. He has realistic glass eyes. His foam latex sculpt is very, very detailed. And he has four different audio tracks. He looks so realistic 
that people are constantly scared when visiting the psychotic circus of Savannah. Clown with Kid. There's also a version called Cagey the Clown with Clown, and there's a smaller clown trapped in the cage, which really didn't make much sense to me. He was released in 2020 by Seasonal Visions. Now, you were able to get him in select Spirit Halloween stores, but I got him from Morris Costumes directly. His retail cost was $349. I know that online you can find him still for about that price. This is one of those rare situations where an animatronic doesn't really increase in value or decrease in value, but kind of stays the same. This is Rotten Ringmaster with Kid. Again, this is kind of like KG, where he could either have a kid or a clown inside, but it really didn't make sense to me to have a clown inside of a cage. He's made by Seasonal Visions and was released in 2019 at Spirit Halloween as an online only prop. However, he is not a Spirit Halloween exclusive. He was in select stores in 2020, again, due to an animatronic shortage. His retail cost was $349, but I actually got this guy in a trade. And thanks to the great folks at FedEx, he no longer works the same way that he used to. The girl doesn't move back and forth. I don't remember if his eyes light up or if his mouth moves. We'll find out. Come on, come on to the grizzliest show on earth. So that actually is not my full animatronic collection. I still have Bing. the Popcorn Machine Clown and I have Bong. Dead Humor. Both of these guys are currently broken and they're both being repaired. So fingers crossed in 2023, we'll be able to check out these guys. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time checking out my full animatronic collection. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Please remember to like, please remember to subscribe, and if you can consider sharing the video, it helps us out tremendously. Thank you so much, and as always, happy haunts.